Hi, I'm Allie. Join me in creating these beautiful Betty earrings that were designed during a Facebook Live. If you need any materials like the disc duos or chaton, go ahead and look below the video in the description to shop with us online. Gather up all your materials and your bead on a board and let's get started. So we're going to be utilizing our disc duos and I have .005 dragon thread in the black color. Since my crystals are darker, I figured I'd use the black, makes it easier for you to see. I have four of my disc duos on my thread along with three of my Crystal Lab full 15 OC beads between them. I also have here my chatons and these are about a six millimeter. They are the SS28 and this is the green opal color. I have about uh, four feet of beading thread here to get done with both earrings and I'm going to right away tie that group of four into a knot leaving just enough at the end here to be able to hold on to. So there's a nice tight pull. And then knowing that I finished with the seed beads, I'm gonna sew through my disc duo. If you started with seed beads and finished with the disc duo, do the opposite. You want that knot to be inside almost that disc duo, but you don't wanna block the hole, so that's something to think about. That extra thread is just gonna hang out there as we build the remainder of the earring. To continue with this earring, we are going to put in our chaton first. So I'm coming out of my thread here, or my disc duo rather, through that first hole. And the disc duos, if you have not worked with them before, they do not have a side, like a um, cabochon or anything, so either side. And I'm going to sew through the first two of my 15 OC beads. From here, I am going to sew through my chaton along the back on a diagonal. Oops, sorry about that. First, we're gonna add a seed bead and then sew through the chaton. After we go through that back of the chaton on a diagonal, add another one of your 15 OC beads. Let that all fall down toward the interior of your little square here. I'm looking now that I'm coming out of that second 15 0 I'm going to go across over the next disc duo and sew down through beads number two, three, and into the next disc duo. So I'm skipping the next 15 0 the next disc duo, and the next 15 0 What that's going to do is bring that chaton right into the top center of the design. From here, just kind of rotating it in my hand, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm sewing through the first two beads there after that disc duo, and we're gonna do the next corner, adding in a 15, picking up the next diagonal of the chaton, so going right through the end there. After doing so, we are gonna pick up another 15 and then same deal here, we're gonna skip over 15, disc duo 15, and sew into beads number two and three of that row of three seed beads. At the same time, go ahead, you're gonna pass over your knot and go through that first disc duo. Pulling the thread through then, you just wanna make sure that your thread is not twisted at all, your seed beads are in the right place, and it's sitting right in the middle of the design there. From here, we're going to step up. So we're gonna go from the interior hole of that disc duo to the exterior hole of the disc duo. You'll see a little bit of thread on the side, but by the time you add in your extra seed beads, you won't see it at all. This is gonna get us set up now for this design to go around and add in some of our crystals. Coming out the disc duo here, you can see that I've already started. You're just gonna put on your thread and needle and connect to the second holes of all of those disc duos, two 15 O's followed by one of your three millimeter crystals. I'm using the three millimeter Potomac crystal rounds in the metallic green iris. So coming out of the disc duo, you're adding two 15s, one crystal, two 15, sewing through to the next disc duo. Once you're done one, you continue on and do all three sides, or all four sides rather. Once you're done with all four sides, you're gonna be coming out of your disc duo again. And what we're gonna do is do our outer edge framing out the corners of our disc duo piece. I always like to stop here and show that if you want to, this is a great design idea just for a simple piece of earrings with the bigger one being your pendant if you want. 
What we're going to do now is decorate the sides of, or above rather, our disc duo beads. So I'm going to sew through to kind of lock it in place, that first grouping of my seed beads and my crystal. And then on the corners, we're going to grab one 15-0, followed by three crystals, followed by one 15-0. Arching over them, those are going to go around the disc duo, and you're going to sew through the next set of seed bead crystal mix. From here, continuing on, you're going to do that same exact thing over every corner. One seed bead, followed by three crystals, followed by one seed bead, and then on to the next grouping. Once again, then, because we are doing a oops, nice little squared design. We're going to be doing this four times. So there's our third, and then we'll get our fourth in there. This is a really quick and simple design, and pretty much at every step of finishing a side, you can stop and be completely finished with your design if you want. From here, getting back through that finished section, I'm going to bring my thread and needle out after the first crystal that I added. So I have my first little corner there and I'm coming out through that first crystal bead. What that's going to do now is set me up to add some 15s between my crystals while also decorating above that crystal that sits in the middle between the disc duos. So now to add the seed beads, again coming out of that first crystal that we just added on our first corner, you're going to add a 15, sew through the next crystal that's already there. Add a 15, sew through that next crystal. After sewing through the crystal, sew through the first three seed beads before your next crystal bead. And once you're sewing through there, then what we are going to do is we're going to top the crystal with some of our seed beads. So how to do that? Go ahead and grab your five seed beads, skip over the top of your crystal, and sew through the three seed beads that are after and then come on out once again through the first crystal. Coming out through that first crystal, add a 15, sew through crystal number two, add a 15, sew through crystal number three, as well as while you're there, those three seed beads. And then once again, top over along the side here with your beads till you go around all four corners, adding in your seed beads on top and your seed beads in between the crystals. After finishing up here, I have my last set of five seed beads that I'm putting on. And I went ahead and took my needle the whole way through then the three seed beads after that first crystal as well as that first 15-0. I have my piece then completed. You can add more crystals if you want to, go around, add more seed beads. I'm gonna grab a wire guard or a wire guardian, go through the one side of the wire guard come down through the other side of the wire guard, and then go in through the next crystal and 15 -0. and come on out. Make sure your thread sits right in the top of there. I'm gonna sneak then through the next 15 -0 after the crystal, and then to reinforce the thread, I'm going to go through that same disc duo. So I'm kind of hopping through my thread, through the disc duo, and then up through that 15, crystal 15. Loop around through your wire guard again. And remember with all these videos, if you make any modifications, go ahead and comment below. That really helps other Potomac beaters figure out anything that they want to use instead if you used a cabochon instead of the disc duo or if you used um, an iris duo instead and changed the count a little bit. Comment below and let us know that. It helps out others. So once we have that thread all the way around there and making sure that it's tucked into our wire guard, the last thing we need to do is get our thread down to the start of the piece. So I'm going to go through that disc duo again, through the disc duo bottom hole, reversing the thread, Go in then to the interior through that seed bead, through the seed bead before the chaton, 
bringing my thread and needle to the back of the design then, coming out of that chaton. And then this gives you an opportunity to turn it over and see where your thread ends need to go in order to sit side by side. So I can look at this and say, all right, this thread here, I'm gonna to need to go back through that 11 there, back through my 11 here, and then my threads are in the same location, and because the earring is front facing, or pendant if you want it to be, I can simply take these two thread ends coming out in the same area, tie those thread ends together, and finish off the design. After this, you just need to put on an ear wire, any kind of your choice, and your earrings for this Betty style are complete. Again, if you did not see these on Facebook Live, these were a Facebook Live project during one of the design lives, so make sure you always join us for those videos. You get to see things um, being made and being shown as well. So fun little design here, creating my purple passion color as well as my little green color too with that same style. Thanks so much for joining me to make these Betty earrings. Remember, if you haven't checked out our Facebook group, go for it. You'll get notifications there. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more inspirational videos for you Potomac Beaders.